Hey people, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Thanks for liking, joining, and subscribing. Okay, well, here it is. I'm really trying to avoid to make the doomy and gloomy videos as much as I humanly possibly can. I know I've been talking about the same thing like a broken record for the last 10 years and on a backup channel and other platforms while I was on suspension from other platforms. Well, if you're living in Canada, heck, if you're living in, if you speak English, you're going to want to see this video because it's very, very important. Canada to go dark. And this is something I've been, you know, creating awareness for since the beginning, basically the first week of spring. Someone came to me and asked me, Mike, what did they got planned for us now, now, now that the narrative is falling apart? And this was, I think, January, February. And we went through a semi-cold winter here in the Northern Hemisphere. I said, well, the only thing left they have to do or the only thing they could punish us or the only way they could control the narrative. And then Buddy said to me, they're going to cancel our internet. And I said, no, it's going to be actually bigger. Because if they truly want to punish us, they'll cut off our power. In winter, Mike? Yeah, in winter. They're going to... I know this sounds bizarro. I understand that, that this is extremely way out there and far-fetched. But they're going to create or innovate ways to... So the commoner could look at it and say, Oh, damn. Now we got no power. Damn, we did this. Damn, we did that. Damn you, Russia. Damn you, Trump. So they're going to find ways for the commoner to see that and say, Damn... We could have totally avoided this. No, they're engineering and putting the wheels in motion to put this in place. Now, we've been, again, we've been covering the energy rolling blackouts and everything that's headed this winter. And I'm, I'm trying to create a preparedness in a, in a way where I created a, pre a prepper window. I told you guys uh, 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 November, December, January, February, March. Prepper windows, we're counting down the weeks. We are 24 weeks out. This Saturday will be 23 weeks out till spring in the Northern Hemisphere. We're counting that down on Mike of the Night episodes. I'm really trying, I don't know how it is, but I'm, I'm trying to make sense of what I hope they don't do. But now looking at articles and looking at what they're telling us and what they're saying. So guys, I'm going to tell you this at the beginning of the video. It doesn't hurt to buy food. Food is money in the bank. So I made this video trying to get people, you know, ready for the fall uh, of this year and saying, look, food prepping is money in the bank. Having food is money in the bank prep now because if the price of food goes up, guys, at least you bought it at a good price. And if you don't, if there isn't a major apocalypse or there isn't a power outage or you don't need the food, well, you're not going to have to buy food for, for a few months, right? We even had Alaska Prepper on Mike of the Night talking about uh, prepping and organizing and getting ready and then food redistribution centers coming soon and then we t we talked a lot about the preppers window to be ready for november 22nd to march 20 2023 preparedness months this is something that and we i mean we've been talking about this for years now so now what's happening in canada i really want you guys to take a really good look at this so freeland warns of difficulty days ahead as canada's economy shows signs of weakness cool economy. Well, Mike, what does the economy have to do with sending energy to our homes and everything? It has a lot to do because the Bank of Canada recent rate hikes uh, to tame sky-high inflation will increase borrowing costs and businesses and consumers alike, which will send shockwaves through the economy, Freeland said. What's what's ca Canada's economy based off? Student loans, housing market, um, energy, energy because they tax us to death on our energy bills and transportation for our, our energy. And I read energy bills here for you guys. Now, RBC, RBC says in Canada, this is BNN Bloomberg, Canada's economic engine may soon face energy shortages. You see that? Do you see that? And Canada's biggest commercial bank says the country will struggle to meet soaring electricity demand in the coming years unless governments make tough decisions. Energy consumption is expected to surge 50% in the next decade, but they're, they're forcing everyone to buy electric cars that catch fire, right? But the country's 
ability to meet that demand is con constrained by its commitment at net zero grid by 2035. So there it is right there. Canada is, is trying to go, we're already in negative zero emissions in Canada because we actually produce more oxygen um, than we're uh, ex uh, uh, extradenting or uh, bringing out carbon monoxide. So we're at negative net zero. Now, we talked about this, Poland playing. So in the springtime, we were warning you guys, uh, Poland playing Russian roulette with uh with Russia as shortages hits, and there it is right there. Now, Europe is in this mess because of politics and governments, and I'm willing to bet a majority of the governments that are in power are heavily controlled and put in, and everything's pre-screened and everything, and then, you know, who's in is probably part of the WEF working with the world organizations to make sure everything goes according to plan. Now, Europe is that, and I've been warning, warning people, Cords of wood. Uh, uh, get an extra barbecue for the backyard. Get more uh, propane tanks to cook food if you need. It doesn't hurt. A uh, propane tank is still like 30 35 or $40 for a tank if you don't have one. You can buy four or five of them. You can buy two, three barbecues. Barbecues are cheaper now because we're going into the winter now. You can buy two barbecues, have them. Nothing happens. Well, you got two barbecues to barbecue with in the summer, right? So think of it that way. Think of it as money in the bank. There it is right there. So let's move on. And can these floating power ships save Europe from its energy crisis this winter? So they're trying to find different ways to power Europe. So floating ships, but a dark winter is looming over Europe as uh, soaring energy prices, which they manufactured, and shortages cast doubt on over whether countries will be able to keep the lights on. So this is very, very, very disturbing that they're even bringing something like this up, but they need to. Here we go. You want disturbing? What are European countries doing to cut power consumption? They're going to, all those LED lights that produce maybe one kilowatt of energy or, or, or one kilowatt of power, governments across the continent have announced a range of measures to tackle energy shortages this winter. Paris is switching off the Eiffel Tower lights, uh... An hour early, Milan has turned off public fountains. The and Hanover is offering gym users cold, uh, cold rather than hot showers in effort to combat potential energy shortages this winter. You can't make this stuff up. I've been warning you guys about this for the longest time, and this is what's scary. This is the thing. So Europe, you know, starts to introduce it. It's the because the north. We're talking northern hemisphere now. We're not talking Australia and New Zealand. Northern hemisphere. Uh, Europe brings in, shows the rest of the world what they're going through and all this stuff that they've manufactured themselves. That's why they're in this problem. And now countries like Canada, America are going to start following in suit, right? They're going to follow in suit. Going here. Let's keep going here. And I dug this up for you guys. 1982 article. Cow power is used to make electricity. There it is right there. You could use cow manure. This was published in the New York Times uh, in April 18th, 1982. And there it is. And there you go. You could basically, there's many ways to create electricity and power. And we do eat meat. Uh, I'm a meatitarian myself. And they're trying to get rid of that too. So we could eat bugs. But there are multiple ways to save. So what have we been talking about? There it is right there. They will cut off all electricity, power grid shutdowns, rolling blackouts, more power outages four months ago. I've been warning people and telling them that this is going to become a thing. I think people will be priced out of electricity by 2025. Electricity getting too expensive. BC Hydro rates frozen. Power to start uh, skyrocketing in the near future. Electricity bills set to skyrocket as inflation kicks in and cities go broke. That's a key. This is a really good video. Two years ago, energy set to skyrocket because... As, uh, because does Canada produce? Nothing. So they ta they just tax us to death on our electricity bills, natural gas bills. They, they charge us transportation, carbon tax, all this bull crap that they throw on there so they could, these cities can make money. Now cities are going broke and because we don't export anything and all we do is build homes and sell them to Chinese investors, we don't have nothing else left in this country. We have nothing going on. Uh, electricity bill up. Um... Let me see. Mix up. Sorry. Uh, oil might reach $10, says expert. That's when oil was crashing, but the price of food was skyrocketing. Tsunami of shut off. 20 million U.S. homes are behind on energy bills and uh, renegotiate the rules. That's from a month ago. 
Nar uh, Mike of the Night, rolling blackouts, they control the narrative, they will punish us in winter. There it is, a year ago. And this is something that we've been, you know, trying to make sense of. Even made videos showing people how to set up their own solar shed in the backs of their homes so they could have emergency power to plug in certain things. And again, we've, it's, I guess, again, it's my gas. So there's my gas. Where's my gas bill here? I've been reading for you guys. There it is. I've been reading gas bills that are several hundred dollars a month in the winter. I'm afraid to see what my gas bill is going to go up to but look if you look at the carbon tax i'm paying on that you could watch those videos and that was three years ago i was paying almost seven eight hundred dollars a month to heat up my home there it is there's the, the gas bill right there that's uh what is that 2019 i think it is 2018 well it's two years ago right there and it's gas bill up 118 dollars from the month before so this is something Ooh, what's this uh, gas prices to the moon oh, five years ago wow gas prices out of control okay so i kind of wanted to put this out there to kind of discuss with you guys forefront and to let you guys know canada will go dark preparedness i don't like making these oh we're all gonna freeze to death but we could prepare if something goes down how long would they give it till they create a reparatus or re or repair the grid if something is to happen in quotations that they're going to create it could, guys it could take three days three minimum three days to 10 weeks before they oh well it's warming up outside might as well get this power back on people are just gonna you know start going outside now because it's getting warmer so like they'll trust me this could go on and that could be nothing it could be absolutely nothing and I really hope it's nothing. I really hope that all this talking is just for the sake of talking and passing the time. We are going to be 24 weeks out. Is it 24? Yeah, we're going to be 24 weeks out. No, 23 weeks out. Well, I'll find out. This Mike of the Night, don't forget to join us on Odyssey Live with Collins. And you can tell us your story on what's happening. And let's talk more solutions. And I, like I said, get a little bit, maybe get some solar panels on some three-quarter inch plywood that you could move around in the backyard and you could you could bring it in at night or bring it under shelter at night if it snows in your area. Um, you're going to need the power if it comes to it, right? Having food and preparedness is good. Making sure you have a lot of wood. Wood. Lots of cords of wood. And um, that's all. I just want to warn people. I just want to put this out there. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I'm so repetitive uh, all these years, but... I think they're going to come and punish us. Am I? Am I? Am I overreacting? Well, I hope so. I hope it's nothing. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.